A Georgia jury acquitted a former sheriff's deputy of all charges for her role in maiming a sleeping baby during a no-knock drug raid carried out on the wrong house. In May 2014, police stormed an innocent family's home where a meth dealer was suspected to be staying and tossed a flashbang grenade into the crib of a 19-month-old baby boy known as Boo Boo. The explosion left the child with severe chest and facial injuries requiring multiple surgeries, costing the family more than a million dollars. As a result of the botched raid, former Georgia Sheriff's Deputy Nikki Autry was forced to resign when a grand jury found her investigation leading up to the raid was hurried and sloppy. Later, Autry was accused of providing false information to a judge to obtain a no-knock warrant for the raid, but her defense attorneys argued Autry's supervisors used her as a scapegoat, and last week she was found not guilty. Upon hearing this verdict, the family and their attorneys were understandably furious. According to prosecutor Bill McKinnon, if there had never been a search warrant, Boo Boo would have never been injured. There's a direct causation, he said. The judge who issued the warrant, James Butterworth, even testified during the trial that he wouldn't have issued the warrant if he knew the real details of the case. While the officers involved were cleared of any wrongdoing, earlier this year, Boo Boo received a $946,000 settlement from Habersham County, Georgia, although it isn't even enough to cover his medical expenses. The child's family also has civil lawsuits pending, and Boo Boo's mother says they will continue to fight for justice.